Young Veterans is a 20-barrel brew house that was founded in 2012 in Virginia Beach. They have two locations, both in Virginia Beach. However, they decided to open the Cadence Hall bunker location due to some legal restrictions imposed by the Navy presence in the area. The bunker is a three-barrel brew pub and rock-focused concert subsidiary of Young Veterans, and it's here that you'll find some great food from their full-service restaurant, and of course, all the killer brews on tap from the other location while you jam to their 600-song playlist. Young Veterans chooses to bottle their beer rather than can it, simply due to the fact that their artwork looks better on six-packs than can faces, and we sort of tend to agree. They have a really cool 50s army theme going on, and it really pulls at my heartstrings just a little bit. If you find yourself in the Virginia Beach area, you definitely owe it to yourself to check this place out. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Brew Review. Today we are at Young Veterans. We are actually at the second location called The Bunker uh, slash Cadence Hall. It's kind of a more music venue, uh, brew pub type of ordeal. Uh, we've got four beers to sample today, and we're gonna start off with number one called K-Ration. This is a Kelsch, and uh, let's get it going. 5%. Okay, smells like a cult, like a kilch. I didn't even smell it. I'm getting that bite that uh, at the very end. Mm. It's not supposed to be as like crispy as a pilsner per se, so. Yeah. It's definitely got a bite, but it's not over the top right. or anything. It's nice and light. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. It's got a nice weedy kind of undertone to it. Very much expected. Nice light body in there. This is, um, you know, for Virginia Beach, this area is all about light beers. Um, they don't do the whole hazy thing too much down in th these parts of Virginia Beach anyway. Okay. So, like, that makes sense that it would be this. Yeah. It's yeah, really I mean, good. it's normally when you come to the beach, it's like warmer weather, so you want something light and refreshing, yeah. not necessarily something that's a little. It is very heavy. refreshing. Yeah, it's, yeah, very, it's very refreshing. refreshing. So, what'd you give it? I'll go ahead and give this one a four. I love Kolsch's. Um, this is a good example. It's not too carbonated. It's not too hoppy. Um, it's not too weedy. It's just kind of really balanced and clean and crisp. So yeah, four for me on that one. Yeah, same here, four. It's definitely a good kitsch. We like just saying the word. Okay, so moving on, we've got Kiowa. Now this one's named after a military helicopter. It's got a very, uh, very clear quality to that one. Yeah. So this is an American IPA. It's uh, brewed with Centennial hops, and it comes in at 7%. Only Centennial hops. Oh, it's single hop. Apparently, yes. It's got a flavor that I haven't, I haven't ever tasted that flavor before. Because it's single hop, and there's no you know, multiple hop additions or anything like that, um, you get just what that single hop is. And that flavor, I know I've tasted it in beers before, well, but yeah. I've never tasted it. It's one of the classic. It. Yeah, I've never tasted just hops. that hop, though. Yeah. yeah, that's actually quite good. It's a that's little bit good. bitter, but it's still got the body to back it up. What would you give that? I'm going to give this one a solid four as well. I mean, this is an IPA that I could drink, that I could see a lot of people yeah. liking. That's good, yeah. Yeah. That's crowd pleaser right there. Oh, me too. Good job. Four clean for me. beers, clean beach beers yeah. are always awesome. Okay, so the next beer we're drinking is a sour beer. Sour beer made with plums and hibiscus. Comes in at 5%. It's pink. It looks amazing. Um, usually the hibiscus kind of gives it that rosy pink color to it. It looks great, good. It looks delicious. It looks we're like We're not juice. big sour drinkers, but we heard that this, this is a sour beer to drink. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of, I'm getting that plumminess. It looks like juice. Does it smell like juice? Not really. A little sour. You know, it's sour, but it's not super sour. It's like tart. It's more tart, it's tart than it is sour. Yeah. It's okay. You know what this one tastes like to me? This tastes like the natural tartness that you would get from the fruit. Not so much. Sure, as a an sour unripened beer. plum, like yeah. a super unripened plum. Yeah. Or like a cranberry or something. Yeah. I mean, I think it complements the beer really well. Uh, while it is a sour, I think it's definitely really balanced because of that that play of the fruit. 
This one for me is a three and a half. And actually really high three and a half, if I can do that. Just because it's really, it's an easy drinking. I don't like sours, but uh, this is just easily accessible. It's not gonna be like overbearingly sour. It's not like a Sour Patch Kid. It's just, it's definitely it's like well an, done in the style. And it has easy. a good balance to it. I can see that being a real crowd favorite in, yeah. in the hotter months. It's an easy drinking sour beer for sure. Yeah, I mean, I Tasty. think I'd give it like a three and a half. I have started to drink more sours just to kind of get that effect of like, okay, what is a well, how, how is a well-produced sour supposed to taste like? Mm. Um, and so I have, I drink more sours than you do, but it's not a style of beer that I necessarily gravitate towards. Yeah. Um, I think it's done well, I like it. I just, I was expecting it to be a little sour than what it is. Yeah, this I feel like is a good entryway, a yeah. good gateway into sours. Um, it's not too overbearingly sour. Um, it's just got just the right amount, I feel like, to be easily accessible for everybody. Yeah, I think that's... It's a great beach beer, yeah. is what it is. So next beer on our list is... The Goat Locker. Goat Locker. So I'm actually getting a lot of coffee. So this is a breakfast stout. It comes in at 11%. It is um, aged in bourbon barrels, and it's uh, brewed with cacao nibs, oats, and coffee from a local coffee shop around this area. It's called Cafe Stella. Sounds and good. I'm getting a lot of coffee on the nose right now. So I'm not actually getting any bourbon. That's weird. Yeah. Go ahead and take a sip and see if you taste it. Yeah, coffee right up front, you're right. Maybe a little like uh, slightly lactosey. That's Very definitely smooth, a smooth breakfast smelling. out. I'm getting like those Oh, yeah, yeah. There's the bourbon. I'm getting the uh, lots of coffee, which I love. Kind of like that chocolatiness that comes out with the cacao yeah. nibs. And then, actually, the bourbon's very kind of vague in this one. I taste it only because I'm looking for it actively. And because you don't drink... And because I don't drink bourbon a lot. I drink a lot of bourbon-aged stouts. I love that style of beer. Anything with, like, aged in bourbon barrels, I'll drink it. It is there, I can tell, but it's 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 almost like in the background. Yeah, it's and almost... And it kind of lingers just only at the very end. It's I just think... not as prominent as I've, I've had it before in other beers. Um, which I like. Which, yeah, I guess, you know... That is some, good. Some places kind of overdo the whole bourbon thing, and it's just like... Oh, it's become a huge thing. Like, I, you know, I talked about this in, in one of the previous reviews where I think that bourbon barrel stouts are just... Now they're everywhere, and they're yeah. just like... Every brewery is doing one, and they're all trying to out. I feel like they're all trying to outdo each other in some way. Like, oh, we have more whiskey in ours than, than you do, or something like that. I like a, a more solidified taste to the beer. I want yeah. the whiskey to complement the beer instead of be its own upfront forward flavor. And I think this this actually kind of nails no, it. No, yeah, it does. There's definitely it's... vanilla kind of notes in there. There's definitely a lot of coffee, like you said. A lot of coffee. Um, I really like that beer. It's definitely. I can compare it to like the Founders Breakfast Stout. That's now a very this is an 11 percent beer. What is the Founders Breakfast? Founders stout? is 8 percent, and okay. this this definitely does not taste like an 11 percent beer. No, so I was going to say whatever they they did here, they they did it so well where it's that's almost deadly. There's you no could, bite to that. You could definitely have a few pints of those and not realize it's 11 percent. Yeah, Tom is saying that that's his favorite beer. Yeah, that's that's really good. I like that. Yeah, that is a seasonal release, is it not? The bourbon uh, variant of it? I think it? the bourbon variant. The non-bourbon variant, I believe, is brewed twice a year. Sorry, I'm burping a lot. And sells out, because people around this area just love it. Yeah, no, so, that's good. What do you think you're gonna uh, go with that one? I'll definitely give it a four. Yeah, I think it's a four, for sure. Um, Maybe just personal, my personal preference, I'd like, it, I'd like to smell bourbon on the nose. Um, just a little bit more than what I'm, because I'm not smelling it, but I am getting it afterwards. Ah, yeah. But other than that, I mean, that beer is definitely, I could definitely drink a few of those. I'm not sure. even seeing that as a deficit in any way. I like the fact that I can't upfront smell the bourbon because I don't like yeah, cause you know, bourbon that much. Yeah. So having it in there, just kind of lingering in the background somewhere and complimenting that beer, that bumps it up for me. It would have been a three and a half, um, but I think for me, that's a four because it's just so subdued. 
All right, guys, well, that does it from us from Young Veterans. We hope you enjoyed watching the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button for notifications when new videos come out. As always, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers. Young Veterans Bunker location. The Young Veterans Bunker. Cadence Bunker Brew Hall. Bunker. No, no. It's, it's the bunker and Cadence Hall. We are like a powerhouse team. Dropping bombs on fools. I think that was good. <clears throat> I don't know if my body is ready for, for this beer. Do you guys like our hats? We have new hats on. They're custom made, they were fucking expensive. Be sure to hit that like, be sure to hit that like button. Okay, so let's go on, let's keep moving. I just want a drink. Yeah, you can do that later. I, I will absolutely do that later. He's got a weird, oh, I thought he was pushing a mop, but it's a dog. As always, uh, is that it? Help a brother out. Now the non-bourbon variant, I believe, is bur is <laughs> I can't speak to that. All right, guys, well that does it from us. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed watching the video. As always, that no, that's not it. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. Okay. Oh my breakfast God. stouts. I don't like these bears. I love breakfast stouts. Oh, we forgot to eat fries. Should we order french fries? We should order french fries. Yeah. I'm gonna do what I always do. Okay. Kelsch. 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 We should get our names yeah. stitched right on the side so that people from a distance can tell who we are. Yeah. If they cared, then they could. Yeah, if we get to that popularity status, which I don't know. I doubt it. Goat Locker is next breakfast. Oh, That's so intense. That's it? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and don't Hit that bell button. That the bell, bell button. button. All right, so moving on to the second one, we got Kiowa. This is named after a military helicopter. <laughs> what? Kiowa. Suck. All right, so moving on, we have Kiowa. <clears throat> Something got caught in my throat, sorry. <clears> throat> All right, ready. Okay. It's bizarre. All right, ready? Uh, no. My liver is saying, no, don't do it. Oh, please. <laughs> Hit that bell button.